Boy Chimes. He played with Patsy Cline, but she got killed in car crash. I mean, plane crash. And I got some eight by ten glossies that he didn't know I had of him playing at the Grand Ole Opry with the WSM on the microphone that she was singing at with the party dress that she used to wear. And that was him back on the steel there behind the, by the curtain with curly hair and big ears and and the boots that Bob Wills didn't like. There's a whole lot of funny things I could tell you. About. What's your dad's name? What's your dad's name? Herb Remington. He, Herb Remington. He was the fourth steel guitar player inducted in the Steel Guitar Hall of Fame. The only three before him was uh, Leon McAuliffe, Buddy Emmons, and Noel Boggs. And then behind him would be Jerry Bird. Um, Leon McAuliffe and him were buddies all their, all their life. And actually, Dad took his place in Bob Wills because he had a hit called Steel Guitar Rag. So Bob was history for Leon McAuliffe. He had his own band. Wow. And so at bat, and, and well, one of my favorite stories is uh, Bob was auditioning, Dad was auditioning for, mm. for Luke Wills in Hollywood. I wasn't even born yet. I was 1946. And uh, Bob happened to be in the hotel room and Leon was gone. He had somebody he didn't really care much for. So, and Dad auditioned on a little six string lap steel. And uh, Bob talked Luke into letting him have Herbie and, and he took his steel player. So it was the first night they were doing the Battle of Bands at the uh, Santa Monica Pier. It was Spade Cooley was the other band. Hmm. And it was time to play San Antonio Rose and Dad knew the tune. He dropped the bar and it rolled off the steel off onto the stage, out on the dance floor under people's feet. Oh and nobody couldn't play the steel guitar rag on, I mean, the, the San Antonio Rose. Well, Noah Boggs was still and playing with steel for, for Spade Cooley, was sitting at his steel at the other stage, tuning his steel, and he saw what happened, so he played it from over there. Oh, and uh, Dad knew he was fired. He just knew he was fired. It was done. It was over. He played his first song with Bob Wilson. And they, well, they say, well, we'll give him another chance. And he's, he's, he stayed with him for six years and he wrote the boot heel drag. <laughs> and um, da, 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 da. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's a steel guitar thing. Cool. But you might have heard the ribbing to ride. You've heard that. Everybody's heard it. Yeah. It was so. 1954. He was in the movie Honky Tonk Man with Clint Eastwood. If anybody saw that movie, yeah. anybody ever see that movie? Mm -hmm. Dad played the whole music to that. Uh, and then Sleep at the Wheel did a couple of albums of Ride with Bob. Yeah. And the first album, Dad did 95% of all the steel on that album. Uh -huh. And on the second one, Ride with Bob, the one with the black label, the only tone he played on was one Reba called him up. Reba McIntyre sang Ride or Rod and she wanted Herbie on her song. And uh, so, I mean, you know, cool. I could go on before another one song. There's one more thing I found out since Dad passed. Uh -huh. The Grand Ole Opry said that the Remington Ride was the most played instrumental on Saturday night than any other instrumental ever played. And second place wasn't even close. Wow. Which has to be the Orange Blossom special. Sure, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, come on. Can you play Remington Ride? Play it. Well, you've got to play some rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a. Yeah. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's your key? D? D? You don't have to do the B flat, but. Uh, 